everybody, it's Susan. Today is day 26 of Marion's 31 day challenge. I've been here in my studio this morning working and what I have created is a altered cigar box. This started out just a plain little cigar box and you can see that I've edged it in the brown. I've put some design paper on the bottom, got some little wooden pots from the craft store for feet. I've put the Tim Holtz, um, or what's it called, tissue tape around the outside. Just wanted to keep that real simple. And on the front, I have used the Graphic 45 Once Upon a Springtime paper. Let me zoom in here so you can get a look at this. too far there. <coughs> okay, up here I have some of the skeleton leaves that I have coated with the glass, glossy accents and sprinkled a little glitter on them. Make sure you can see those. Sorry about that, guys. Applied some Prima Bling. Kind of dress those up rather nicely. I've got one of my fabric petal flowers here and I have a tutorial from last summer if you'd like to learn how to make those. Um, have a little I Am Roses flower there that I have painted with a little bit of gold mica powder. Here we have a book plate and I've just simply trimmed one of the Adage tickets that says Dream put it back there and covered it with glossy accents to make it shiny and nice. Down here in the corner I have a few more of the I Am Roses flowers that I have colored in a light pink to go with the paper. And those, those sit on top of an ornate plate die cut from Tim Holtz. I painted that with gold metallic paint and I went over it with the Distress Crackle paint in the picket fence, which is white, obviously. And I've got the design paper back here. And then if you open it, I have more of the paper on the bottom. And again, I've just simply painted the sides brown. And then there's more of the design paper on the inside. And this, you guys, is actually the back cover off of the 8x8 paper stack. That's not even a piece of paper. That's the cover. Because we throw the covers away and there's no reason to. If you've got a project like this, use the cover. <laughs> and I, of course, I put all my papers on with my matte medium gel. And then I sealed it all up with that to make sure that it's durable and that will last a long time. That paper's not going to peel off. It's not going to turn funny yellow colors or anything like that. It'll stay nice and just the way it is. So that's my project for today, guys. Stick around and I'll walk you through it. Thanks, everybody. See you tomorrow.